This is the talk show that takes a no-holds-barred approach to politics, where truth and integrity are the standard and the Constitution honored. From Renaissance Studios, this is Champion News Talk Radio. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net, where you can get all of the latest political news. This is Carol Parisi, and I am with Jack Roser, our host and founder of Champion News. And on today's show, we have Mark Levine. And our show today is discussing um, taxes not being the solution to Illinois' pension and debt problem. And, uh, Mark, you have quite a, uh, bio, a bio here. Um, you're the member, you were the member of the Finance Committee for Citizens for Bill Brady in 2010 uh, for the general gubernatorial election. Um, and uh, you've, done, you've served on the board of subsidiaries of General Motors, engaged in the financing of General Motors' automobile leasing portfolio, and uh, it goes on and on and on. But um, you also just had a recent article in Crane's Chicago Business speaking to debt, this debt problem, and how taxes are not the solution. So um, what do you have to say? Okay. Well, thanks for, uh, first, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on the, on the show here. I'm very happy uh, and excited to be here. It's uh, uh, great to sort of get, be able to get the message out. Um, the, uh, the op-ed, which I, uh, which I co-authored with Bill Brady, um, and, uh, you know, we, we actually met during the race, uh, back, uh, maybe seven, eight months ago. Our and almost uh, governor. Our, yeah, sadly. Yeah, yes. Sadly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, half a point away. Um, but, uh, you know, if he had only said some of the things that you discussed with him in that article, if he'd only said that during the campaign, we'd have a real governor. Yeah, no, that's uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a shame, sort of the way things worked out here. Um, and uh, you know, interestingly, when I met Bill um, back, you know, again during the campaign, uh, he yeah, we had a discussion on on pay. I, it's sort of a passion of mine. Um, and uh, he, you know, Bill is rock solid on the passion of yours is the the passion of mine is getting the getting Illinois's pension situation under control because it, the scale of it is just overwhelming the state, really actually bankrupting is. the state. Yes. Uh, it, it is the major issue that's got to be faced in the coming election in 12, when the whole legislature is really uh, at stake here in Illinois, as well as uh, other things nationally. But the big thing in Illinois that uh, we're trying to do here at uh, Renaissance PAC is to get uh, a Republican legislature House and Senate elected uh, because uh, the present Democrats have authored uh, a disaster for the state. And the biggest one of all is the pension thing that uh, the unions have uh, driven us to the wall on the kind of money of the taxpayers that's being wasted. Yeah, no, that's right. The, um, the, yeah, the, the, the thing that the thing that really drew me to the, pen, to the pension issue is and that I don't really think it's gets sort of properly vetted out. By politicians and the media is the scale of the problem the scale of the problem so many are the, afraid to approach the problem uh, they're afraid of uh, what the unions are appearing radical or unpopular or against the which workers. is which is absolutely crazy because it's in everybody's best interest whether you're a democrat or republican to me it's really a nonpartisan issue the you ha you have a look at it this way we've got a we've got a We've got a state budget that's 30, 34 billion dollars, depending on how you measure it with, you know, Fed money or, or not. You've got we've got 30 billion or so of general obligation debt. OK. And the pension debt, if we without any new legislation, the pension debt is two hundred and ten billion dollars. Frankly, that was actually the first line in our uh, in our op ed this week. It's a breathtaking number and it's an accurate number. Say that number again. Two one zero two hundred and ten billion dollars of debt when you properly measure it. Okay. Now, if you, if you see what the pension people are doing, they're, they're playing all kinds of games. They're playing games on discount rate by, uh, which actually takes the number sort of way down. And we can obviously get into some details on that, uh, if you like, but when you sort of use appropriate discount rates, okay, 
that that actually takes the number, uh, you know, sort of up dramatically. They're they're using an eighty billion dollar number, um, you know, with discount with using a, a proper discount rate that takes the number up to one hundred and forty billion. Another number we reference, well, which is actually you're legacy finance. Costs. You're a finance expert, so mm -hmm. explain what you mean by discount sure. rate. Sure. Sure. The way the way the liabilities are are calculated is the 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 sort of third party actuaries come in. They're hired by <clears throat> by the pension system and they do a perfectly fine job. OK. And what they're doing is estimating all the benefits that are being accrued by all the state workers and teachers in, the, you know, in, in Illinois. OK. Now, those are cash flows that are going to take place over the next 40 plus years. All right. Now, how you how you then convert those into a number today as far as what the liability is, what the state actually owes in debt, okay? In, I mean, this is, an, this is a contractual obligation, okay? Well, some people is, might call the present value. Present value, yeah, very yeah. good. Well, the way you, you compute a present value is you discount those cash flows to, to a number, and that's where a lot of the games are played, okay? The, the discount rate that they're using is, and which, by the way, they're entitled to use based on, you know, accounting convention, but it's just flat out, it, it's so flawed. They're using numbers like eight, eight and a half percent, which make absolutely no sense. Okay, the and what that does is that takes a that actually because of compounded interest, which we all know. You know, Albert Einstein yeah. said that the eighth miracle of the world is is you know compounded interest. Um, what that does is actually cut take the the actual situation and make it just look so much smaller. Okay, by by discounting again discounting the number right instead of computing a level which again appropriately would be 210 billion there through their their mathematical sort of games and you know again in my view uh you come out they come out to a number more like 75 80 billion by the way still a crazy huge crazy number, Mark, huge uh, number. Uh, for instance uh, uh are any of our listeners making uh eight and a half percent on their savings account <laughs> well, that, or that's, their investment account that's exactly right the yeah, um they're making one percent or two or three or four but uh Handling this huge debt promised in the pensions, uh, there's a huge bank account with billions of dollars in it that's supposed to be earning, uh, you know, the money uh, to pay uh, the pensions as they become due. Money that's been accumulating for each person through 30 years or, mm -hmm. of their work uh, working. Yep. And uh, but it isn't earning that kind of money, and it's crazy to think uh, that you can keep paying those uh, pensions. That's exactly right. I mean, wanting to make, wanting to make 8% isn't enough. Okay. The, <laughs> the market bears what the market bears. And right yeah. now treasury rates, which is, you know, which is actually the appropriate number to use. Uh, and uh, we can get, we can sort of get into that, you know, during the show, treasury rates are in the range of sort of three and a half, four percent. And then that's okay. for the long bonds. And that's for long bonds. That's right. Yeah. That's for they're 10 year bonds. bonds. And incidentally, they're... the assets in the pension fund are actually running off because they're they're actually using assets to pay benefits, yeah. which is another, you know, another problem. There's so many there's so many layers to the pension problem. It's you almost get confused sort of managing each of them. You know, yeah. the, the, these unions are going crazy yeah. uh, because they actually they're they're being paid outrageously high wages and pensions. Uh, you know, teaching is a part time job. It's only 165 days a year where all workers uh, people that have real jobs work 240 days a year. That's why teachers have three months or so. Uh, they have the money and the time to spend their vacations in Europe because uh, your average teacher is making pensions here. I mean, I mean uh, salaries here in Illinois of uh, 60 or $70,000 a year. Right. You know, at some, at some point over the last, sometime over the past 15, 20 years, Really, uh, you know, there's sort of a tipping point where in the old days, teachers, teachers actually made modest salaries. And it was uh, and actually, frankly, business people Worse almost modest. felt bad, you know, um, almost sort of felt bad and said, you know, gosh, you know, they're teaching our kids. And, and, and you know, my mother was was a teacher for decades. Yeah, uh, they were you know, growing up. And, and and what happened, I think, is these state, you know, these unions you know, sort of kept pushing that number up, which is one thing. The other part of it, though, on the pension side, the fact that the fact that teachers and other state workers, okay, which by the way include include un university, you know, professors, which we can is a whole other world. It, um, it's uh, true yeah. that, that teachers a century ago, hard to believe now, made like three hundred dollars a year. Right. Uh, right. 
Well, and now they and, the and, currency and now they, has been debauched. Right, and and now they get they get those very attractive salaries. Okay, while they're working, but but much worse than that. Okay, it, 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 I don't stop, I don't actually, stop a minute there. Yeah. Very attractive salaries. Uh, for instance, in the district we're sitting in here right now, and also in my that's District 300 and District 220 where I live, they each have had driving instructors making $130,000 right. a right. year. And there are a lot of teachers making in these districts making more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there are something like uh, 6,000 uh, teachers making more than $100,000 a year. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this is no longer uh, a low-paid teacher thing. It's way higher than any similar job in industry. And what's, you know, what, to me, the... Okay. You know what? We are going to talk more about Illinois' unfunded pension liability. It's around $210 billion. 